In this sleepy suburb of Indianapolis, Outrage Monday. Friends and family recalling young slain American aid worker Peter Kasig, who converted to Islam in captivity, going by the name Abdul Rahman Kasig. In 26 years, he has witnessed and experienced firsthand more of the harsh realities of life than most of us can imagine. But rather than letting the darkness overwhelm him, he has chosen to believe in the good. Please pray for Abdul Rahman, or Pete, if that's how you know him, at sunset this evening. Pray also for all people in Syria, in Iraq, and around the world that are held against their will. Kasig, the third American killed by the Islamic State militant group. In his hometown, heartache for the former Iraq Army veteran. It is an act of horrendous evil. Just uh, mind-boggling. Man's inhumanity to man. You know, he was a nice young man who simply went to care. In Beirut, sorrow for Kasig and the Syrian refugees he was trying to help. It just, it was remarkable. People just couldn't believe how much this young man devoted his life to, to helping them. And he didn't even know them. They, they, they really appreciated that. The White House confirming the 26-year-old was killed after reviewing a video that also showed the beheadings of a dozen Syrian soldiers. Secretary of State John Kerry recalling the Western murder victims of the Islamic State militant group. Aid workers and journalists such as David Haynes and Alan Henning, James Foley, Stephen Sotloff, and now in a crime that we have condemned in the strongest possible terms, Abdul Rahman, Peter Kasig, they have all been among those brutally murdered. But Kerry insisting the brutal terror campaign will not intimidate the West. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.